What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this dreary Tuesday. From where I sit, I believe that we're going to get some rain here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Other than that, it's a beautiful day. It's not too hot, not too cold, you know. Shout out to the brother Jamal Bay for sending me this particular story right here. And here we go again, you know. We got a black man found dead hanging in South Philly. Many alleged victim was lynched. According to No, no Gun Zone, Alan McHale was found dead hanging in a South Philly park. <sighs> um, you know, I guess things like this is going to continue to happen. Simply because you got low lowlifes like Barry Wardell that runs around using racial slur slurs saying that he hates niggers and he hangs niggers on the weekend and he's allowed to roam you know roam the streets or what have you for those of you guys that is not familiar with Barry Wardell I will put the video you know the link to the video into the description box okay now to get into this story right here it says here according to a no gun zone Alan McHale was found dead hanging in a South Philly park Many allege that McHale was a victim of a possible racist crime. Sources say that Alan McHale's family will not accept any theories around suicide. McHale's body was found in a park on Ninth and Federal. I don't blame the family. See, because they know from past incidences with black men found hanging, young black men, they immediately write it off as suicide. Okay? And um, also, you know, um, with cameras being everywhere, I'm wondering why, you know, uh, it hasn't picked up any images of uh, particular situations like this happening, okay? <laughs> but be that as it may, I think I know who, you know, the culprit, you know, is behind these murders, all right? Now it says here, the people of Philadelphia demands answers around this eerie death of Alan McHale. It says here, Ashley Yates, um, there's several more instances of hangings I found, but too often the person remains unidentified or media completely fails to follow up on the initial reporting. Hmm. She goes on in the next post here. A man named Alan McHale was found hanging on a playground in an area near South Philly on August 13th. He was visiting from out of town and his family disputes the police finding ruling any while well, ruling it a suicide. Police say there is no camera footage even though there are several near. Oh, well then why why in the hell that's what I'm talking about. Why in the hell wouldn't there be any camera footage if there's, uh, you know, uh, cameras posted near, you know, the place of the incident? More than likely, I guess those cameras was mysteriously out of commission. <laughs> Go figure that, right? It's not like we don't know what's going on, you know. But the main thing is, is this. We need to start protecting ourselves. And I mean collectively. You know, we need to start looking up for one another and start fighting the forces of evil. Because, see, when good stand by and, uh, and do nothing, evil will prevail. That's basically the way it works, okay? Now, to continue here, Alan McHale allegedly was visiting family from out of town. Somewhere in between visiting family, the incident happened, and McHale was found dead hanging in a park. The family refuses to believe the police reports on it being suicide. The video of Alan McHale's body hanging in a park has surfaced online. The disturbing foot, I mean, video has not only left McHale's family, uh, but the residents of Philadelphia demanding answers. You know, of course, I, I, I wouldn't even want to watch no shit like that. You know, uh... I've seen some of those old postcards with those evil bastards, you know, put on, um, yeah, they were postcards and it showed, you know, a lot of black people being hung and they use them as postcards, you know, we're not supposed to respect stuff like that, 
you know what I mean, and and what have you. So I mean, and I I would, of course, automatically get very upset, you know. But getting upset is just not enough, if you know what I mean. To continue here, it says here, uh, Doctor, not your token, I guess. Uh, she well, he posted uh, this happened a week ago at a park about a mile from where I live. One I used to walk by all the time, um, pre-shutdowns, and this is the first media coverage on it I've seen. Hashtag Alan McHale. Hmm. Black man found dead hanging in South Philly. Many alleged victim was lynched. According to No Gun Zone, Alan McHale was found dead. Okay, and that's what this is saying up here with these so-called FBI agents out here collecting evidence Psh, yeah right <sighs> um doctor not your token he posts um there are several businesses around that park many with cameras but no footage he's in town to visit family and decides to commit suicide here question in this way question all of this is so beyond suspicious and hard to believe. Hashtag Ella McHale. That's because it's bullshit in the game. You know? Uh, Peggy here. A probable lynching occurred in South Philadelphia. And not enough people are talking about it. Says his name. Hashtag Ella McHale. Wow. Um, McHale's family has since then started started a GoFundMe for his memorial, you know, this is crazy, man, you know, this, this is crazy, this, 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 this is crazy, you know, um, Ashley Yates post, uh, there's no media coverage on his death, so please don't ask me, I found out about it through social media and verified through local contacts, this, I mean, there is a local activist related to the family uh, working on the case and I'll share the post next all right Ashley Yates then she posts a here's a post from a local activist with more details she also walked the area and spotted several cameras after police said there was no footage of him in the parking lot or entering it now that tells you right there they're covering shit up. So then what are we to believe? What are we to believe? Think about it. I tell you what I believe. They're they're the ones that's doing this shit. That's what I believe. You know? Criminals need to be put out of commission regardless of wearing a badge or not. And that's just all there is to it. You know what I mean? They they need to be put out of commission. Okay? That's what it all boils down to. His story is jumping around. But in conclusion here, it says Charlotte Brown gives more detail around the night of the hanging. Miguel stated, well, started his day off getting his laptop fixed before a Zoom conference he had. After the meeting, he met up with a friend in the afternoon where he ends his night off being dropped off near Penn's Landing. That was the last time McHale, well, Alan McHale reportedly was in contact with his family. The next morning, his wife got a call around 7 a.m. that her husband, Alan, was found dead hanging in uh, Capitola Park. Brown says that this apparently, this, well, Brown says that this apparently, this is the second hanging on that uh, occurred at South Philly Playground recently. Huh. Second hanging, huh? And I guess they didn't get any uh, footage from that hanging either. People, I stress, we need to come together collectively and start really, really being our brothers and sisters keepers against the evils that's lurking about. You know, um, and that's just all there is to it. 
we need to do that because if we don't well then things like this is going to continue to happen and we can't rely on the system the so-called law to protect us okay we do have to protect ourselves y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story right here i'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts views and opinions on it like comment share and subscribe people please remember to live your life as though we are being watched Simply because we are, this is James and I'm out. Peace.